brand new product from myself and Simon of ProScale Paint is our Chrome Paint and Chrome Paint Sealer. So it's a two part system, it costs £14 for both bottles. It's a 60ml bottle of Chrome and a 30ml bottle of Chrome Sealer. Now, the Holy Grail of Chrome Paint will be one that's high shine, can be clear coated, and is handleable without any loss of shine to the finish. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So if you follow my steps here, this is the manufacturer's recommended steps. You will end up with a very high shine chrome, a chrome that could be clear coated, and as I say, a chrome that could be handled without any loss to the shine. So you start off preparing your parts. So if you've got chrome parts, you need to dechrome them in your standard manner using bleach or oven cleaner, or whatever method you use. Uh, if you're just painting bare plastic or you've got your, your parts dechromed, I'm just going to prime in black. And the black is there for two reasons. It gives us a, a primer base for our chrome paint. And black under chrome will give the best shine. So you can experiment with different colours of primer, like white and what have you. But for me, black will always be the way. So a couple of light coats of primer, wherever your black primer of choice is. So once the black primer is dried, we need to clear coat it. The clear coat will give us a very smooth base for our chrome. Um, so for that we recommend ProScale's 2K clear coat, a three part system. I have a separate video on spraying this, which I'll put in the description of the video. And I will show the process at the end when we protect the chrome. So it's just basically two coats, a semi wet coat to begin with. Let that flash off for five minutes and a full wet coat at the end. And that should leave us with a super smooth black high gloss finish in preparation for our chrome. The 2K clear coat is left to fully cure for about six hours, and then we can proceed to the next step. Then we have the chrome paint itself. Like I said, it's in a 60ml bottle. It doesn't need thinning at all. It's straight to use out of the bottle. It is very thin, so I would recommend using a pipette to get it into your airbrush. Now I'm going to be using my Ultima Apex 0.3, sorry, 0.2ml needle airbrush for this today. We're about 18 psi. We've got all the safety precautions on. We've got our respirator on, our booth on, uh, and gloves on as well. And what we're going to do is apply three light coats of the chrome. So you want very light coats. Let it off gas for five minutes in between each coat. Don't spray a heavy coat. It is detrimental to the finish. You just want a very light, even coat all over. That is the key. Nice, light, even coat getting all the angles and everywhere but don't spray a thick wet coat it is detrimental to the chrome finish like i say leave that to five minutes to off gas and you can come back with your second coat so i'm doing three parts of my current project this is a ford mustang mac one from revel just doing the grill and the front and rear bumpers for now five minutes has elapsed and we're back for our second coat you can leave the paint in your airbrush no problem but we'll give it a good mix up again before you spray it. On the second coat, you can see it starts to get some good coverage. But like I say, don't go mad with the paint. Nice light thin coat is the key. So it's just a single pass on each go, making sure we get even coverage each way. So there we go. There's a second coat on that. Quick look already, we get a beautiful high shine chrome finish. And then onto our grill. The grill is a bit more difficult because of all the different angles on it. But it's just a case of being nice and careful and not over spraying that chrome. Like I say, pop it to one side for five minutes. You can come back for your third and final coat. Now I'm going to show this in its entirety, how to do it. While when you read it on paper how to do it, it seems very long and convoluted. It's not at all. It's actually quite a simple system it will require 2k clear coat preferably pro scale is what we'd recommend but for the results you get i think it's well worth it so there's the third coat on the rear bumper that is looking absolutely fantastic we'll also do a third coat on our front bumper as well again we're not going heavy coats at all we're just going very fine mist coats over the top over the front underneath and behind as well and the same on the grill We'll give that one last coat as well. What a beautiful gloss finish. Look at that. It dries super fast. This It literally flashes off before your eyes. And that chrome is absolutely amazing. So there we go. There's three coats on each one. They now to be, need to be left for 30 minutes at about 20 degrees centigrade. So typical room temperature. 
It was a bit colder, leave it a little bit longer. But I left this for about 30 minutes and then came back with the sealer. So, so the sealer is the product that actually protects the chrome from the clear coat. So it's neat out the bottle. It's already pre-thinned. We're going through my uh, Iwata HPC Plus this time at about 18 PSI again. And the aim of the game here is three very light mist coats. So we don't want to put any heavy coats on. We just want to come a little bit further back and just pass with nice even passes, one pass per time, just putting a very light coat on. And you should, should just see the 2K dull a touch with each coat. So very light coats on each part. We'll then put it to one side to flash off for five minutes and then put our subsequent other two coats on afterwards. Now, it is this sealer that allows us to clear to coat it because any other chromes, including this one, without a sealer, once cleared, will lose that high shine. It just dulls them instantly. So this is probably one of the most important steps of this and very important that you follow the steps clearly. So don't put a thick coat on. You just want to put one pass on, leave five minutes like this, and then come back with your second coat and then your third coat subsequently after. So just a nice light thin coat. And at the end, you should just end up with a slightly dulled chrome finish. So like I say, both these paints are pre-thinned, £14 for the set from proscalepaints.uk. Um, they'll go through virtually any size airbrush needle. This is a 0.35 on here for the sealer, and the chrome went through a 0.2, no problem. So anything 0.2 and upwards, you shouldn't have any problems with whatsoever. Um, you clean out the airbrush with a lacquer-based cleaner. We sell a cleaner on our site as well. After we've got our three coats of the sealer down, we can leave that to dry for... Uh, approximately 20 minutes and then we come in with our 2k mix so this is pro scales 2k paint um, we're going to apply a light mist coat to begin with a tack coat leave that five minutes and come back with a heavier coat so this is a two to one mix of our 2k clear so you mix two parts of clear to one part hardener so say six mil of clear to three mil of hardener uh, there's no thinner required in this today for the chrome but normally you would add 5% of thinner if you were spraying, say, a car body. But this is literally um, two parts clear, one part hardener of our 2K. Like I say, on the first coat, we're just putting a very light mist coat down to start the process. That's then left to flash off for five minutes, and then we can come back for our second coat with our full wet coat. Now, you can put just two coats down if you want. But what I did and what the instructions recommend as well is leave for a minute, see how it looks. And if you think it needs a bit more clear coat, you can put it on. But you can see there instantly with the second wetter coat of 2K, the high gloss, high shine chrome finish looks absolutely fantastic. It looks absolutely brilliant. So like magic, that sealer has worked and we now have a beautiful high chrome finish on our parts. It looks absolutely fantastic. So we're going through my Iwata Revolution 0.5. This is the airbrush I used to 2K. We're about 24 PSI. Uh, we're going to use very, very little 2K. But of course, make sure you follow the safety concerns and the safety observations. Be gloved, have a proper respirator on, have a spray booth running, a bit of ventilation, and make sure you're in the room on your own as well. So having a quick look, it just needs a little bit more. So I'm going to give it a third coat. And look at that shine. It looks absolutely fantastic. And like I say, 2K is one of the best clear coats you can get. Ours is super thin, so it doesn't look over thick. Ours dries super fast. This is dry in about six hours. Um, once you finish, you can polish it up to make it even shinier. Uh, it will withstand a lot of chemicals. And you can handle this to your heart's content, gluing parts in place, moving them around and you won't lose any of that high shine and like i say once you're done you can polish it all up again should you require so this is literally the holy grail of chrome paints it's able to be high shine clear coated and durable which is unheard of almost um, there's a lot of chromes out there that claim to be this but the likes of molotov and revel and the spray cam which i use quite regularly they can't be handled and you can see how high shine that finishes on those parts it looks absolutely fantastic. Like I say, with the superior clear coat of 2K, this makes these very, very strong as well and able to withstand a lot of handling. And there we go. There's our chrome grill done and the front and rear bumpers. We'll have a final quick look of everything, see how they look. If they need a little bit more, you can always give it a little bit of a 
a little bit of a spray, but they're looking good to me. Beautiful chrome finish. Looks absolutely fantastic. Just losing all the light and getting all the angles. I'm looking at I'm quite in awe here at the minute, to be honest, looking at it. Looking pretty good. And the same on the front bumper as well. Looks absolutely fantastic. I've got very high shine lights in my studio. So it's quite hard to see sometimes. We're zoomed a little bit here to have a look. You can see just how reflective that finish is. Looks absolutely fantastic. Like I say, this is on my Ford Mustang Mach 1, which the videos will be out very soon. So you can see this process again and the finished result of the car as well, which I'll stick a picture on at the end too. And there's our chrome bump uh, grill as well. And I took it outside for some natural shots. As you can see, once the light catches it, you can see how beautifully reflective that chrome is. And this, this can be handled. You can touch this, you can do whatever you want to it, and it does not lose that shine at all. So there we go. Pro scale paint, chrome paint, and sealer. The perfect high shine chrome that can be cleared and handled. Absolutely fantastic. You can buy this off our site, which I'll link in the description below, proscalepaints.uk. Uh, it's £14 for the set of both. It's a 60 milliliter of clear, uh, chrome and a 30 milliliter of the chrome sealer. Uh, we also have our 2K system on there and a black primer if you want to buy the whole lot to do together. Thanks for watching today. I hope you found that video useful. Like I say, the Mac 1 build will be up uh, eventually on ISM. be on my Patreon very soon. And you can see the real result of this on the car here. And it just looks absolutely fantastic.